the weekly planner 2021. When you make a copy of your sheet, you will get this exact template and you will see some tabs here at the bottom. Now, if we start at the monthly and yearly goals tab, we have a section with 2021. Let me change that real quick. 2021 yearly goals, which is where we, where we will write our high level uh, overview of goals or things that we definitely want to accomplish or have accomplished by the end of the year and a section for the monthly goals. So this is where you spread out whatever it is that you write for your yearly goals. To have an example here, one goal of mine would be to publish 53 YouTube videos. Another is to write, oops, write 365 Medium articles. These are very easy to spread out over the over the months and over the weeks. This is literally one video per week. I think we have 52 weeks, but it doesn't matter. Um, then 365 articles is one per day. And you may notice that for YouTube, of course, I would love to have one K or 10K subscribers. And on Medium, of course, I would love to have 1K and 10K followers, but I do not control this aspect. So I am focused, I'm choosing to focus on what I can control, and that is my own output. Now, now we have that sorted. We would spread all of this out over the months, which would be for me, oops, the same. Uh, five videos. And I would just copy and paste it everywhere and so on. And let's take the average here of the second goal, which is 30 medium articles. And I copy and paste and paste and paste. Now, before we get into the week planner, let's go to the status tab real quick. What is this for? Okay, now we're going to go back to the week planner anyway. We have drop downs with statuses. And in case you would want to change pending work in progress or this tick box, then we can go here, delete what there is, and inside the box, write our own statuses, such as no idea. Um, whatever you want. You can write here but in within the box now if we go back to week planner you will see that everything we just wrote in the status tab is now pulled into the drop down and this has a red uh, dot because this is not pulled from the status tab anymore you can just delete it and choose from a current status Anyway, let's get rid of this for now. Our monthly and yearly goals we have right here. We want five videos and 30 articles for the whole month. Let's say we only have time to do a video on the weekend. But the article we would want to write every day. So... This is an example of how you would plan out your week and you would do this for all the weeks of the year and mark it with a status. Of course you would change this to something that makes more sense or just keep it as it was. And here there's a section for notes if you need it and in case you don't want to have um, this week planner in one massive uh, tab or you scroll down in that case you could take this tab uh, click on the triangle facing down and press duplicate and then rename the tabs Oh, maybe good to know, you always want to keep one tab empty as a template. So you don't have to copy the old template and delete all the information which is in there, which is mm, something we can avoid. I press the downward triangle again, I click on duplicate, 
and I'll rename this one to calendar week one. That's it. Pretty straightforward. I hope you can use this. Feel free to steal and have fun setting up your goals for 2021.